Hey, today I'm gonna to show you a little known hack for getting more traffic to your website. So I learned this trick originally many years ago and when I started applying it to my websites and to my businesses, instantly I was getting more traffic to my sites. And um, I was actually on a coaching call last week to one of our students and she was telling me that uh, she wasn't getting enough traffic to her site. And uh, when I looked at her site, I could actually see she was ranking number two in Google Maps and in Google Organic. So when I looked a little bit further, I could see what the problem was. Basically, she was only targeting one suburb. So, you know, Google, you really want to be throwing a big net over the Google search term. So you want to be targeting not just the suburb that you're in. So if you own a gym or a boot camp, you don't want to just be targeting the location of your gym or boot camp, but you want to be targeting all the suburbs around your gym or boot camp or wherever you're, you know, whatever you're offering. So, you know, people will drive five, 10, 15 minutes into your location. So, you know, you just want to be targeting as many suburbs as you can for all the services that you offer around where you're located. So that way, you know, you're going to be pulling people for all these different keyword search terms and all these different locations into your website it just gives you so much more traffic and it's so easy to do so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to hop over to my computer and i'm going to jump on google and i'm just going to show you exactly how to do this okay so i'm just over at google now so i'm just going to show you a few different examples of how i use this tactic um, first off i'll use it for my personal training business here in sydney and i'm, I'm based in bondi so we really what we want to do is um, and just before we go into it, always make sure you're signed out of Google and you're in incognito mode, otherwise, you'll get personal search results. So, as I was saying, you want to be ranking for every service that you offer and you want to be ranking for every suburb that you're located or all the suburbs around where you're located. So, I'm here in Sydney and Bondi, and I just typed in one of my keywords there. And my company, Dangerously Fit, as you can see, we're number one in the Google Maps and number one in organic, okay? And then, so that's one service. And then what I would do, we also offer boot camps here as well. And I'll just do the same. Okay, boot camp Bondi, we're at number one. This is actually one of my directories, number two. And we're number one there as well. So that's one of my locations. And then what we do as well, is we're gonna repeat that for as many different locations as we can. So this number two here, that's one of my sites, it's Kuji Fitness. And then here again, number one in organic. So we just do this over and over again for all the different services that we offer, okay, and in all, all the different suburbs that we offer. And in that way, anyone in the eastern suburbs, okay, this is number one, number two in the maps, these are both my sites, and then we are number two and number three in organic as well. So anyone landing on this page, they're gonna see one of my sites popping up on the first sort of search terms in Google. So the reason we want to do this, like I was saying before, is anyone types in any type of keyword in your location, uh, we want to pull as much people, as much traffic into your website as we can. And the more pages that you've got on your website, basically the more traffic you're going to get. So you can have, you, you can repeat this tactic, you know, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 pages. You can just repeat it over and over and over again. And the more pages that you're going to put onto your website, the more traffic you can get. And it's really easy to do. All you need to do really is, number one, is to put your keywords in the title tag. So I know I've broken this down much more detail in the PT Supremacy area, so I'm not going to go too much into it. Uh, if you want more information of where the title tag is and where the URL is, you know, go into that course and it's all in now. I'll show you real quick. So you want to put your keywords in the title tag. So the title tag is what's showing up, okay, in this blue bar, okay? So this is the title tag. Next off, you want to put it in the URL. So you just want to make sure that your keywords show up in the URL. This is an EMD, okay, and here again, okay, it's in the URL. Next off, we want to put it in a H1, so that's basically your headline tag. So when someone opens up your website, you basically want it to show up first thing above the fold, okay? So, okay, Rush Cutters Bay Bootcamp. So we've got the, let's go get that little pop up. So we've got, okay, the keyword in the H1, in the headline. Okay, and all you do is, and then just go down the page, and you just wanna make sure that you've got your keywords at about 1% keyword density. So what that basically means is, 
If you've got 500 words on your website, then you would put your keyword in that page about five times. That's 1% keyword density. So if I'm trying to rank this website for Bootcamp Rushcutters Bay, I will just make sure that I've got 1% keyword density uh, Bootcamp Rushcutters Bay. And if you just go down, um, you'll see how I've done it. Uh, and we're also dropping other keywords as well. So group personal training, you know, we've got Rush Cutters Bay, we're just dropping the keywords into the page. Okay, Rush Cutters Bay Outdoor Fitness Bootcamp. So we're just using um, very similar words to what we want to rank for. So then we start ranking for Rush Cutters Bay Outdoor Fitness as well. And then you can see Rush Cutters Bay Personal Trainers. And we're just dropping in that keyword quite naturally all the way down the page. So Dangerously Fit Bootcamp in Rush Cutters Bay. And this is all you really need to do. So you can actually take, you know, one sales page that you've written once, and all you need to do is just ch change the title tag, okay? So just change the title tag, just change the URL. So you want to put the keyword in the URL at the top, and then in the H1 tag, and then just sprinkle your keyword throughout the page. And usually what I do as well, just to be safe, and I don't have it on these older sites, but what I do do now is usually just to be safe, if I'm using the same sales copy, I'll just get an article writer to write me a 500 word article and just make sure it's unique. And I will just put that on the bottom of my page. And in that way, I've just got loads of content on there that's unique and there's no duplicate content issues. And I'll just give you an example of what I mean. Um, so. I think in a previous video I mentioned that we're going to be setting up kettlebell courses here in Sydney, Australia. And so I've done this on some of my sites over here. I'll just show you real quick. Okay, so this is our site here. We're already in the maps on the right hand side and um, I'm just going to click on this page here. We're number one, two and three as well as you can see. So what I do is I use the same sales copy, but I just make sure that I have the location and the keyword in the URL. So you can see this is kind of like an EMD, so an exact, exact match domain. So we've got the keyword in the URL there. We've also put it in now. So we've got Kettlebell Course in Sydney in the URL. I actually don't have Sydney here in the H1. Um, actually, sorry, I do, it's there. So we've got it in the H1 tag there as well. Kettlebell instructor. And then all, all I do is I just make sure it's sprinkled throughout the page. And then at the bottom, if you come right down to the bottom, you can see I've had this 500 word article written. So this is unique content. And I'll just drop in kettlebell training, kettlebell training Sydney in that article at the bottom. And that's all I do. So if you just do this simple tip, uh, tip and you repeat it over and over and over again, like I say, for 50 pages, 100 pages, for every suburb that's around where you're located, you're gonna get so much more traffic than if you just got one page targeting one suburb. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just completely different ball game. So for SEO training, that's inside the PT supremacy area. So if you're not already in that, I might just, uh, what I'll do is I'll put a link underneath this page or you can hit me up in the Facebook group and I'll show you into that group. Um, otherwise, I'll see you in the next video.